Hey, what's up, guys? It's Miss McSassy fans. Welcome back to Let's Play Alter Ego Life Simulation Browser Game. Now, we just finished childhood, so welcome to adolescence. For be the things I am wiser to know, idleness, sorrow, a friend, and a foe. For be the things I'd be better without, love, curiosity, freckles, and doubt. Dorothy Parker from Enough Rope Inventories ST1. Alright, let's... Ooh, what am I, what's this? Oh, there's no experience I could do for that right now. Um, I have a little, nice little chunk of money. Okay. That's cool. Anyways. Oh, I'm single. Uh, let's leave this icon for now. Okay, so let's pick social. Okay. You and your friends have all gone to the shore for a beach party. It is late at night. One of your friends has a suggestion. He says, hey, let's go skinny dipping. I'm gonna wait for everyone else. Some kids take off their clothes, some chicken out. Do you still want to go ahead? Sure. You take off your clothes and quickly jump into the water. After a while, you begin to get cold. Unfortunately, when you decide to come back, you realize that everyone has already left the water. As a matter of fact, they all dread off and dress again. <laughs> when you emerge, all eyes are upon you and your various attributes. Whatever. My body's rocking. Just kidding. It's ten minutes until the bell rings for Jim, Ms. Mrs. Black, otherwise known as Orca, can be such a pain with her calisthenics. Everyone is getting to going to the mall after school, and the last thing you want to do is sweat like a horse. No one will go near you. Imagine taking your shoes off in the shoe store and knocking out everyone in the place. Gross! It's going to take some quick thinking. Let's just go to gym class. As soon as you walk out onto the gym floor you begin to sweat. It won't be long before people are looking at you and passing the word that you have B.O. Try, let's just try not to exercise much. Mrs. Black spots you barely rocking back and forth in, in your place and calls you over. What's the matter with you? She says menacingly. Let's tell her that I'm having a period. What's the matter with you, young lady? Don't you know vigorous exercise is the best way to get rid of those monthly crafts, cramps? Go over there and do 50 squat thrusts. You'll sweat the pain right out of you. It doesn't work like that, lady. You are in one of your ultra cool moods. While cruising through the house, you bumped your foot into a piece of furniture and let a swear and let a swear word sneak out. Your mother calls you in from the other room. She says, "Did you say what I thought you said?" Um, let's just say I did. Wisely, you dropped the cool act, and it's important to be cool. When mom has her temper up, you, she can put you on ice permanently. Intellectual sphere increases sharply. A few people got a little wild playing spin the ball at a friend's house yesterday. As a result, your neck looks like it was stung by a pack of wild hornets. To walk out of the bathroom, mom inquires you about the curious looking mark. Marks. Uh, let's just let's tell her the truth. Oh, fine. Tell her the truth. Family relations are good. Your truthfulness makes her them even them even better. Mom knows what where you got the mark. and might even have been embarrassed when she asked. Even though she trusts you, she feels the responsibility of keeping you out of trouble as much as possible. These talks will probably never prevent you from doing what you really want to do, but they can make you think twice about some things. A little while later, on the back of a cereal box, you see a contest name, cartoon character that represents the cereal. You'll enter, and because you are very bright and creative, you win. Your prize package consists of a new bike, $100 gift certificate, and one year supply of crunchy marshmallow chewios. Hey, that's cool. Free cereal. Family dog has been acting a little peculiar lately, and no one can figure out why. Some of your fellow family members suggest that maybe he should be given away or worse, put to sleep. Dad delivers an ultimatum. The dog must shape up or ship out. You are the only one in the house who can take the responsibility for getting him back into shape. Well, let's train the dog. Sorry, I, I like accents. You spend every available minute keeping an eye on the dog, rewarding him for good behavior and keeping him out of trouble. One day, when you return home from school, you smell what can only be the dog's byproducts. The smells emanating from your parents' bedroom. You step in the bedroom and find the dog sleeping peacefully in the corner and the sculpture sitting squarely atop of Dad's favorite pillow. Fortunately, no one is home. And let's try to wash the pillow. You scrape the sculpture off the pillow and throw it away outside the house. The pillow and the pillowcase are left with a large brown and smelly ring. After three wa machine washings, 
Your mother keeps yelling, What are you doing down there? The smell comes out of the pillowcase, but the pillow smells a stain. <laughs> Not only that, the pillow now weighs 30 pounds because it's waterlogged, so it'll never be dry by the time it gets home. Ask for mom's help. She was very sympathetic, as it turns out, Dad couldn't tell his, new fav his favorite pillow from a pile of bricks. She quickly makes a substitution and all as well. Hey, that works. Oh, uh, let's do this relationship thing. Let's meet someone. Where would you like to meet this person? Let's meet him in school. Who would you like to meet? Um, let's... Okay, so I'm not picking Peter because I've already picked that... Or, I've, in real life, picked that right, kind of... Let's go with Mark. Hit <laughs> Mark. You have chosen to meet Mark. To meet with Mark. He is, his characteristics may be described as follows. He is moderately trustworthy. He is moderately gentle. He is not very calm. He is moderately happy. He is not very confident. And he is moderately good-looking. You met... You met Mark in biology class. After talking with one another for a while, each time... Other time... And giving each other time to get a good first impression, you talk about going out. The big moment comes when he finally asks you on a date and you accept. Hey! I went on a date. <laughs> okay, I don't know. You're listening to the radio and you hear that the guest disc jockey is. Get ready because you will absolutely drop dead from the shock, which is more important than a blah 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 blah. Adam Bomb! And. He Adam. <laughs> like Adam. <laughs> oh, sorry. And the famous Adam Bomb. And the nuclear race. The show is accepting a call in questions and comments. The callers can win autograph albums, al 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 albums, money, and expensive prizes. Let's just call them. You get a busy signal. Let's try calling. Calling. Hey, let's keep calling. You are greeted by the voice of the regular disc jockey who says, Hey, how are you today? We're here with Adam Bomb. Do you want to skim a question? Or do you want to have a crack at one of our value prizes? Let's try for a prize. <laughs> prizes! Oh, come on. Come on, Internet. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay. You ready for the question? Here it comes. What album contains... Adam, which album contains Adam hit song Belching It Out for Love? Well, indigestion, I'm guessing. You are absolutely correct. The station would like to give you a copy of Adam's newest album and two free tickets with Batsy's patches, pass, passes to his next concert. Adam himself tells you a goodbye and says he can't wait to meet you at the show. Could you scream? Sure. Bah! A little while later, your family decides to take a trip across the country this summer because you have good family relations. You have a wonderful time. Intellectual spirit scores rise, scores rise dramatically as you learn about the country. In Wyoming, you meet a foxy guy who teaches you about life in general. Hey. Anyways, I'm gonna end this here. This is the first glimpse of adolescence. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, just keep her going. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you could like, comment, share, and subscribe, that'd be awesome. But I really appreciate you watching anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, just keep it going.